friends! In today's video, I have four indoor Easter games for you to play at home with your kids because we all know it's a crazy time right now and we're spending lots of time indoors with our children, which may be very stressful for a lot of parents. I know for me, it's been a big change. We can look at this as a blessing to spend time to get to really know our children. On this channel, I am so passionate about bringing families close together. If we're meeting for the first time, hi, my name is Sean. Welcome. I would love for you to join this wonderful community of parents who want to grow closer to their family through fun and games. All right, let's jump into today's video. Here we go. The first game is called the Bunny Hop. Everything I show you, the materials I use, will be linked in the description box down below. So you're going to need these really cool hand cutouts. This is the kinds that you use on bulletin boards at school. And you're also gonna need the bunny feet as well. Go ahead and use the blue painter's tape on the bottom of these. And the goal is to put their hands on the handprints and their feet on the bunny feet and see how fast they can go from start to finish. Moving on to game number two. Game number two is an Easter egg stack minute to win it game. Set your timer for one minute and see how many halves of Easter eggs you can stack one on top of the other without them falling. And whoever accomplishes this is the winner. I will post down below where you can buy bulk Easter eggs for cheap. I bought a pack of around 200. So my kids are definitely gonna have fun this year. Game number three is called Duck Hunt. Every kid loves these little rubber ducks. My 12 year old loves them and my toddler loves them. So I bought a big pack of 100 and we spent time hiding them around our house. So for my daughter, we did, I pulled out 30 of those rubber ducks and we hid them in her room and she had to find all 30 of them. And let me tell you, we ended up playing this game for 30 minutes. Yes, hiding, taking turns, hiding these ducks around the house for my toddler. And we are also gonna hide all 100 of them and have a blast doing that as well. So I highly recommend just getting a stock of rubber ducks. I will have some more games coming out next week that will show you some more games on using these rubber ducks. So stay tuned for that video. All right, the last game is not really a game. I know that's weird. It's just a fun spring activity with butterflies. These are really cool. So what you do is you wind up these butterflies. It's a mechanism that has a rubber band in it. They're super cheap. I will post where you can get a pack of eight, I think. I will put that in the link down below. But you wind them up and then you can stick them in a book and when the person opens the book, they'll fly out. So these are great for if you want to send Easter cards to kids that you know, these would be great to include in there and they'd have a surprise butterfly fly out. My son also had a blast dropping these from our balcony and watching them flutter. I was very surprised how lifelike the flutter was. It really was like you had disturbed a butterfly and it was flying around. This occupied my kids, no joke, 45 minutes and they still played with them to this day. Every day they've been taking these things out. And if the rubber band breaks in the middle, ours haven't yet. You can actually just replace it with any rubber band you have. So that's super simple. A thumbs up is the best compliment you can give me. Subscribe if you want to get more ideas and inspiration for how to have fun with your family and grow close to your family members during this time of craziness. And I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. Hold on, you want to say goodbye? Okay, here we go. Bye. Yay. You want a snack?